Hi, in this video, I will explain how to install CC360 analytics in your Salesforce environment and also the important features and the user interface of this application. CC360 analytics is a lightweight Salesforce application and this application uh, runs over aggregated data from the source and the master data from their own staging object. And those data will be represented in the form of graphs and charts. And also you can monitor the data usage uh, of your uh, jobs and also uh, the source and the bean master records uh, data will be monitored in this application. So the statistics of all your CC360 jobs and also dash jobs in the, you can monitor uh, clearly in this application. And you do have a 360 degree view of your source records and the distribution of source records from the various sources and also you have the complete control of this application from your end. Now let's see how to install this application CC360 Analytics in your Salesforce environment. Log into your Salesforce account. Once you log into your Salesforce account successfully, copy paste the URL that you have received, paste it here, or hit enter. Your page will navigate to the installation screen and then uh, enter the password in the password area so once you enter the password choose the user type you have to install this cloud customer 360 analytics to an admin or for all users or Facebook profiles once you choose the installation type uh, here for this video I'm going to use admins only option and click install and you will get a pop-up to get a permission to grant access for the third party that is for uh, Informatica Cloud and click yes and then click and continue. So the application will start installing in your Salesforce environment. Depends on the number of uh, beans that the job has to process, the installation uh, process might take a few minutes to complete. Once the installation is completed, you will receive a confirmation mail regarding your installation. So you can check your email uh, shortly. Finally, I received uh, a confirmation mail from uh, support at salesforce.com. The subject package is CC360 Analytics install successful. Yes, once you receive this confirmation, you can right away to check the application in your Salesforce. You'll write back to Salesforce homepage. Once you're back to the page, you can click uh, this plus symbol. You can see the available tabs in your Salesforce environment. and search for cloud customer 360 analytics so once you got this particular tab yes it is installed successfully and uh, click customize my tabs and choose this application and click add and you can order this application according to your convenience and uh, click save then right away this application will add it to the menu list you can easily navigate to our application interface. Let's see uh, about the user interface of uh, Cloud Customer 360 Analytics. CC360 Analytics user interface do have a left pane and a right pane. Left pane contains a C360 dashboard, CC360 Analytics with the source records and duplicates, and dash page, settings page, and feedback. And we do have a home icon, helps to navigate to your Salesforce homepage and the info icon helps to get the support related links. After completing the installation, go to the settings page to make the configuration. Click on settings. Enable the CC360 analytics to get your analytics report. By default, this feature is disabled. While enabling this feature by click on yes, the application prompts to share CC360 performance and metadata details with Informatica. So it is recommended to accept sharing the details with Informatica for better service support. To know what the details are shared with Informatica, click on the link view metadata to be shared. So you will get to know what are the data will be shared with Informatica and then click accept. And uh, once you enable uh, the CT60 analytics, and uh, automatically all the other options uh, started enabling. You can also click on yes to share the analytical data with Informatica. So there will be a prompt uh, 
uh, you know, to show the nautical data to be shared with Informatica to check the uh, informations on uh, how the uh, data has all been uh, profound. So we click on accept the uh, data as will be shared with Informatica Global Customer Support. The CC360 settings is uh, the share button helps to share the custom uh, settings of your CC360. So if you uh, face any issues in your CC360, our support team will help to optimize your account by uh, accepting this. So you will get a prompt as well. And uh, you can also execute the job uh, at any time like you can execute a job now you can click here so the start, jobs have started running uh, the CCCT analytics and also you can schedule a job uh, for a particular day or uh, if you choose the time intervals as well after that you can click on schedule the jobs run according to your schedule and if you like to uh, terminate the jobs that you have scheduled you can click on terminate button the jobs which were you scheduled will be terminated and uh, next will be on feedback if you click on feedback you will get a prompt to add your suggestions or your feedback on this application or if you have any other technical queries please write to us our technical support team or a support team will get back to you with the solution cc360 dashboard do have the information of uh, salesforce object and custom object total number of records of an individual object and the percentage of records has been synchronized and uh, if you click on more info the page will display the record distribution in pie chart fashion so we will discuss about in detail shortly from this currently running jobs panel you can see the list of jobs which are currently running and this shows the number of records has been processed and the time taken by the job to process records and below to it you can see the percentage of the job completion and also we do have CC360 job analytics it will give you the complete analysis uh, of uh, records of currently running jobs CC360 job analytics do have the historical analysis of the performance of CC360 jobs you can check the uh, analytics of a particular job or for many jobs you can specify the jobs uh, I have chosen more than a three jobs and choose a particular week and click on execute you will get the line chart fashion uh, to express the number of records processed by job so here uh, you can see check the numbers like consolidation jobs done of 2036 records and duplicate contact check job performed with 82 records so you can get the record information on the left graph on the right side uh, chart bar chart will helps to find out the total number of jobs successfully completed or failed so here one job has been failed and the rest of the 60 jobs successfully completed in recent job details of cc360 it will displace the last 10 jobs which has been processed and the job name the number of records has been processed the duration and the status of it if you click on it, it will give you the information of the errors. If you click on this error, you will get to know the error log and the details of it. And uh, next would be the uh, an upcoming schedules uh, job and total number of duration. And in detail, information of the bean records and their usage. And also the must record and their percentage usage. All those records will be uh, represented in the dashboard itself. In CC360 analytics, if you click source records, it will give you the distribution of uh, records and up to standard and custom objects in pie chart fashion. If you click a particular object, it will give you distribution of source records from various sources. Say, for example, Salesforce on a cons object and data.com, MDE, NetSuite and others. And uh, all those informations will be comes under the distribution of records and uh, a simple mouse over will give the information of total number of records and the number of percentage synchronized and each and every object duplicate check percentage cleanse percentage and consolidate percentage for various sources and if you click on duplicates we do have two different uh, charts that would be for 
duplicate check and uncheck and for a record match and unmatch so mouse over will help you to find the data which is checked and unchecked for individual objects and for unmatched and matched records for every sources you can get the details by simple mouse over and in the dash page you can get the uh, collection of reports of uh, analytical information of the dash jobs uh, you can also check the status of uh, verified address contacts of so phone number and email as well so all the analytical information you can check in uh, weekly basis or monthly basis so you can click on today click execute you will get the sequential line chart fashion of uh, jobs done today and also you can simply move the mouse over so you can get the details likewise for the dash matrix you can check the individual uh, fields for a particular object like accounts object billing address field and shipping address how many records are valid or invalid so all the data will be comes under dash matrix and you can also check the verification status of uh, address email and the phone for each and every fields say for example for a particular field like billing address you can check the valid invalid and not verified data so simple mouse over will give the details for you and also the valid distribution in 360 degree fashion you can check the status code uh, like v4 status code comes under 11 records so you can check the status code by the mouse over on the info account so so do for email verification status so for valid data send valid data for a particular object so you can do the same for the phone verification status as well so you can get the all the collection of records of dash jobs in this page so thanks for watching this video